Farish runs for president live in Hillcrest. San Diego. And I'm sorry I called you an amateur. You're very professional. I didn't mean to. No, no, I don't do it much. But I didn't mean to say anything. Oh, it's okay. No. You have a good day. You're an intelligent man. I am. I That's why I'm homeless. Yeah. I pissed off the wrong people. I pissed off the wrong people. You too. Frank for president. Magfo, etc. My name is Frank Barris, and I am running for president of the United States. Thank you. I hope you guys will write me in on election day. I'm going to leave you two flyers for six people. Maybe I'll get three votes. Okay. I don't know if that's how math works, but... You know the best thing if you want to talk to people? Huh? Hire a hall. Hire a hall? Yeah. You buying? No, you buy a hall. H-A-L-L. -L, no, I know, I, know how, I know what a hall is. I just have no money. You didn't see oh. that I was homeless? Oh, you I think homeless people can buy a hall? No, I see. I'm only homeless until, we, until you put me in the White House, though. That's one of my slogans. The other one is MAGFO. Make America great for once. Magfo, it's, it's get all them. Excuse me? Don't say that. So you guys are cops? Yeah. Yeah, oh, look how quick they, look how quick they said no. Yeah, of course you are. Uh-oh. Of course they are. Oh, my God. All right, officers, you all have a go. Oh, that turned, so it is CIA. All right, officers, you all have a go. Oh, that turned, so it is CIA. You all have a go. Oh, that turned, so it is CIA. Because so uh, that's what, I, yeah, there she goes. Okay, er, so it is CIA. Because uh, that's what I. Yeah, there she goes. Okay, okay, amateur. You too, amateur. For the good all of the country, Frank Barish for America. I will do good for all. Frank Barish for America. My name is Frank Barish, and I believe in America. I believe in the American dream, and I believe in the American way. But America has lost her way and everyone knows it. The dream has become a nightmare and it's time to wake up. We elect Republicans and things get worse. We elect Democrats and things get worse. My name is Frank Parrish and I am independent. The only party I care about is my inauguration day party. That's right folks, I am running for president of these United States of America. Again! <laughs> she can't believe I'm running a third time! Can you? Anywho, um, but that's enough of that one. Because that obvious cop right down here. Look at well, you know, everybody except the capitalists. Them I will string up by their toenails. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I'm running for president and I'm about to make a speech right there over that courtyard and then leave. It's just like a two minute thing, but don't freak out if you hear me yelling about America. Okay. But anyway, check out my social media. It's some good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> now I have to do it. Anyway, just running for president. No no harm. Just, just me running for president over here. All right. Good for you. Thank you. Someone's got to do it. All right? right? Magfo, make America great for once. Make America great for once. It's three hours later and these people are still talking, so I'm gonna finish my speech. One way or another. Uh, I hope you got lined up there, right? So, so I... I said, if anti-Semitism didn't exist, we'd invent it. We'd need to, wouldn't we? Probably, that's my point. I mean, you have an inbred tribe that tries to I'm part of the tribe, so I get to speak oh, of this. Do, huh? Anyway, I, the, my, I, you're talking about films of the past. These are films of the future. Oh, okay. I have 10 million views, and I've given you guys a couple hours, but I have to finish my speech because I have 22,000 people who are waiting to hear this. It's only take two minutes unless you have copious questions. My name is Frank Barish, and I believe in America. I believe in the American dream, and I believe in the American way, but America has lost her way, and everyone knows it. The dream has become a nightmare, and it's time to wake up. We elect Republicans, and things get worse. We elect Democrats, and things get worse. My name is Frank Barish, and I am independent. 
The only party I care about is my inauguration day party. And, well, we'll party on my birthday if you'd like, sir. Thank you. Thank you. See, there's a Frank for Barish supporter right there. Frank Barish for president. Mexico! M-A-G-M-O! Make America great for once! See? They did it again. They, they stumped me. You... Like, skinny Abe Vigoda heckled me and just totally threw me off. Am I right though, Skinny Abe Vigoda? You guys have a great night. Uh, you don't much chance of that. But thank you for your support. These fucking people. Boomers, am I right? Boomers, am I right? I was thwarted by Skinny Abe Vigoda. That's how bad my day is going. I'm, I'm never going to be president this way. If a little man like that can beat me. He brought up my birthday and I thought he cared and then I realized he didn't. It reminded me of my dad. I went to Hillcrest, campaigning in Hillcrest because I thought they wouldn't care about the dress. I was thwarted by Abe Vigoda. I thought this would be the road to redemption, but I was thwarted by Skinny Abe Vigoda. What? No way. Yes, I was thwarted by Skinny Abe Vigoda. Here at Campaign Alley, I thought I was going to make a speech and change the world, but I was thwarted by Skinny Abe Vigoda. I can't even... Where's God when I need him? Hey, Frankie! Lord, you're in a non-burning bush this time. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so, uh, you're having a bad day on the campaign trail, am I right? I was thwarted by Skinny Abe Vigoda, Lord. <laughs> I know. I watched. It was, you got beat, son. I got beat like a narc in a biker rally. Ain't that the truth. Anyway, you're going to get back up off your uh, patookas and keep campaigning, or is Abe Vigoda going to beat you? Abe Vigoda is going to beat me. <laughs> I mean, Frankie. What, Lord? You can do this, man. You're, you're a bush and two trees. What do you know? I am the Lord thy God. And I command you to run for president, son. You're not my father. Aren't I, though? Touche. Three Shea. 842 Shea. Nine million Shea. Are we going to do this all day? 900 million Shea all day, baby. And scene, I guess? Are you going to campaign, Frank? Yes, Lord. Thank you. I am the only candidate who is both pro-choice and pro-life. So meeting a skinny Abe Bogota on the street, you think that's more or less likely that he's a cop? I believe in every word of the Second Amendment, including those two words that are invisible to conservatives. Well regulated. What are you doing homeless? How did you get here? Well, it's, it's, a, it, it's a long story. It's all on that card I gave you. Oh, okay. And on my first day in office, I will end war. Turns out we've been doing most of it around the world. University of Chicago. University of Chicago. It's an evil place. Is it really? It's where Leo Strauss taught. It's where he taught Wolfowitz and That's Fife. True. That was a cauldron of evil. So maybe that's why they turned evil. When did they go there? Same time? Who? I don't know who you were talking about. I think that came before Biden. But to achieve world peace, I'm gonna need your help, America. I'm gonna need you to write in Frank Barish on election day. Well, the, the, the architects of the Iraq war. Oh. Wolfowitz and Fife oh, oh, and, those, and those fellows. Yeah, they, they, their, ideology, their ideology was all learned at the University of Chicago oh, wow. under, under Leo Strauss. And that story's not told in history, but that was an ideology that brought us to where we're at now. Well, also, um, Cheney. Well, Cheney is, Cheney, remember Cheney was installed at the seat of power when Nixon resigned. Well, not really. Yeah, he was Ford's he, chief he of was, staff. No, he was, a, no. He, he was, was chief of staff to the most power, the, the least powerful president in history. And I'm going to need you to get your friends to write in Frank Barrett on election day. Oh, oh, when Nixon, sure. when Nixon was... I don't want to follow you all the way home. I, I don't want to. Okay. Okay. I just got to catch a bus.
Well, you seemed interesting, and I, 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 sorry, I just jumped in there and started. You can jump in anytime. What's your first name? Seth. Del. Seth. S E T A. Yes. Well, Seth, you can jump in anytime. Well, you. What's your name? Uh, Bishop. Bishop. That's your, that's your given name. Well, <laughs> my last name. Okay. What's your first name? Uh, Warren, but they kind of call me Bishop. Okay. Anyway, Everyone calls me Frank now. Oh, really? After who? My great grandfather, Frank oh. Barish. My mother's mother's father. And I'm gonna need them to get their friends to elect Frank Barish on election day. Write them in. Go ahead. Oh, it's my mother's mother's father, Frank Barish. That's how I'm running for president under his name. Oh. Because I have a lisp. Mm -hmm. So I was given the name Seth and I have li a lisp, so. Where are you from originally? I was born at Fort Dix uh, on the army base and then mm -hmm. grew up in Massachusetts and then California oh, wow. and Alaska and Oregon and Missouri and Texas most recently, but that was a living hell. Yeah, I would say Texas probably is. Yeah, it really was. And the heat wave, last summer's heat oh, wave. Oh, yeah. Homeless, homeless in that heat. You were homeless there too? Yeah. And I'm gonna need them to get their friends to write in Frank Barish on election day. And if we all come together as a nation, we can have my inauguration. And I can finally do something about this darn inflation. The FBI has fired me from 11 jobs. I was a journalist. Oh, really? Yeah. They ruined my life. And re repeatedly ruined my life. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but all the videos are on that. If you, it doesn't if, sound crazy. <laughs> they ruined a lot of people's lives. Yeah, they ruined my... You know, you know how they got, I got stuck with it? Not even, even before the journalism. My dad got on Nixon's enemies list. Oh, wow. He challenged the Army's... Uh, rule on the how long your mustache can be. Oh, really? And he got on Nixon's enemy list. And when I was born on the army base, they gave me a, a high, high dose of fluoride. Fluoride. That's All, for the first 12 years of my life, I was taking fluoride supplements. <laughs> oh, no, my, I have no cavities. I said that. Yeah, yeah. no, but, look, but I also have yellow teeth in this. Look, look, look. I know, I know. Which ear is your good ear? We're both not bad. Okay, listen, listen to this. Just real quick. Oh, oh, I guess all, enough of that. All day long, every day. I couldn't, I tried living at the Zen Center of Los Angeles, and they kicked me out because I was too loud in the Zen, though. Oh, that's <laughs> well, I got to turn down here. So okay, I'll be head back. I just wanted to. Glad you caught me. Yeah, and, I, you and you have that card. Oh, thank you. Yeah, check out Minus Well Films. I'm going to check it all out. You have a great day. Okay, thanks for coming. You have a good night. My name is Frank Barish. And my slogan is MAGFO. Make America great for once. I will now take questions. All right. You can't beat Frank Barris, folks. Don't ever think you can. I mean, I'm only homeless until you put me in the White House, America. Frank Barris. as well red as the next guy but that building's too red and as I'm walking by it I notice talk about bold I just might I might lead I'll be president just like that building is red with all of my soul and being it's way too red but I should still be president after all that book was speaking to me as I walked by Anywho, for the good all of the country, Frank Barish for America. Oh, the humanity. Because I can't believe I should brush my hair. I'm running, running for president. For the love of God, I'm running for president and I didn't brush my hair. And that's just on me, I guess? Okay. I mean, you should be in 1080 anyway. I'm not sure. My name is Fred Barris, and I am running for President of the United States! Thank you! But that's enough of that one. That obvious cop. Right there. Uh, they, they, they
get flooded? Sure. <laughs> Just sitting here feeling sorry for myself. Oh boy. If I eat this, if I eat this, I'm gonna run for president, folks, of these United States. But I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just gonna sit here and feel sorry for myself. Can, can I unwrap it with my... That's just gross. See now what you've made me do? No, I need both hands for this. Yeah, that's the kind of president I am. The kind of who unwraps a cannabis edible with both hands. And why is it? Oh, because I bit it. Oh, oh, because I bit it. That's why it's that weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then Frank ate the edible. My name. <laughs> Not yet. I'm Frank Barish, and I approve this message. You guys voting for Frank Barish on election day? That laugh seemed like a yes to me, I guess. Maybe I'm just overly optimistic, but that's kind of what you want in a campaign for the candidate to be overly optimistic I'm at the bus stop yet I'm out of money I gotta like beg to get on this bus anyway good 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 campaign day I guess in Hillcrest Frank Barish I campaigned in Hillcrest